UAC's mission is to save lives by keeping people on top of the greatest snow on earth. We do that through avalanche forecasting, education, and awareness. And what we are is a combination. We're a partnership between the Forest Service and a nonprofit. Now it all started back in 1939. Forest Service snow rangers were working up in Little Cottonwood Canyon dealing with avalanches. From there in 1979, the Forest Service started putting out avalanche forecasts to keep up with the growth of backcountry use. Unfortunately, the funding available was not enough to cover the cost to run the avalanche center. So in 1990, the nonprofit Utah Avalanche Center was formed to bridge this gap and to protect the UAC from the annual variation in Forest Service funding. Today, the UAC has a staff of about 14 folks. They're working across the state from Moab to Logan. About half are out in the field doing forecasting every day. The other half are doing on-snow education, know-before-you-go events, fundraising events, things like the Utah Snow and Avalanche Workshop, and other fundraising activities that makes it all possible. I think there's just an endless opportunity to continue to grow and adapt to our users. Everything from online learning to how we give daily forecasts, which could be in social media or other forms of media in the future. There are more people out in the mountains every single day getting out and having fun. If the growth is explosive, it's going up every day. It's the rate of people getting hurt is going down, and that's what we're here for, and that's why we do this job, because we want folks to get home safe to see their families every day. Avalanche education is the best way to learn how to avoid getting caught in avalanche in the backcountry. This winter, the Utah Avalanche Center offered over 30 on-snow classes reaching 600 women and men. These classes teach students how to identify avalanche terrain, how to use their rescue equipment, how to interpret the avalanche forecast, but most importantly, these classes teach them how to put it all together and come home safe at the end of the day. So here's the deal. Majority of our recent avalanche fatalities in the state of Utah have occurred outside of our forecast zones. What does that mean to us? Well, we need to increase our on-snow avalanche courses and our awareness programs, both in central, southern, and rural areas of Utah. This is going to help to bring awareness and education to those who have had limited opportunities to it in the past. Hi, I'm Steve Akalos. I've been on the board of the Utah Avalanche Center for eight years. I'm also the guy who makes the Wasatch Backcountry Skiing Map. I'm a part-time patroller at Brighton, a backcountry skier, and the former commander of the Salt Lake County Search and Rescue Team. As a rescuer, I've responded to 11 avalanche fatalities. I'm certain that number would be a lot higher if it weren't for the Utah Avalanche Center. As a backcountry user, I rely on the avalanche forecast to help keep me and my partners safe. Do you know it costs almost a million dollars to run the Utah Avalanche Center each year? And almost a third of that comes from individual donors like me. I donate my time, my money, all of the profits from the map to support the Utah Avalanche Center because I know they save lives. <laughs>